Ivy and I am here to do a traveling video today. I'm hoping that this video will be a all-inclusive traveling tips video that you can refer back every every time you travel and just have everything that you might possibly need. I will show you guys what I'm carrying carrying in my carry-on, my suitcase, give you guys tips, but the checklist that I use to pack everything for both the carry-on and the check-in luggage. Um, down in the down bar so that you could, you know, copy and paste and use it to your guide. I will also timestamp everything. But, you know, maybe if you're not checking a luggage, you could just skip over that part or, you know, navigate through the video. I will also refer you to Alex's video on traveling. I always look back to that one because I just love that video so much. And I also look back on my what's in my airplane carry-ons. So I will link Alex's video down below. Before we get started, I just wanted to say that, um... People travel different ways. Some people like to carry a suitcase. Some people don't, just like a purse. You know, it's all personal preference, but this is what I'm telling you guys, and I think it's helpful. So if you are willing to try this out, go ahead. But if you have your own method and it works fine, you know, just do whatever you want. And also, there's going to be certain things that other people need that I don't or that I do and other people don't need something else that I don't have in this video. Obviously, be sure to pack that. Um, but this is just a very basic list of everything that you would need. And I'm going to China, which I have a house there, and I can buy everything that I need there. Like, for example, shampoo, towels, I have, like, extras of this. I don't need to br be bringing those, but if you do, then obviously pack them. Just to start off with the carry-on, um, I am carrying a crossbody bag that looks like this. This is from Schumann. A lot smaller than what I generally carry, which is a big tote. And the reason that I want to carry this is because it is a crossbody. And honestly, just carrying large totes do not work well on your shoulder or on your arm, especially if you're traveling internationally. Trust me, you don't want to do that. Since I cannot fit everything that I absolutely need in this purse, I am also taking a little suitcase, carry-on suitcase. You know, even if you want to take a large bag, I think taking a suitcase helps because, you know, you could roll it along the handle and you don't have to lift it with your own arm. Um, this was really helpful, but past years I haven't, you know, taken a suitcase ever. I like to be hands-free when I'm going on the plane with the exception of my carry-on, but I've just found that it's actually even more hard because you know, I carry so much stuff that this method will work a lot better. So basically what I recommend is putting things that you don't need to be carrying in the airport in, like, a suitcase and carry things that you absolutely need, like passport, boarding pass, in your easily accessible um, carry-on. So in here I've kept my books and magazines that I don't need until I get on the plane and my makeup. So I'm going to start off by showing you guys what is in my carry-on. And these are pretty much, you know, pretty basic essentials. Um, so if you wear glasses, I would recommend a glasses case for when you sleep. I always carry some kind of liquids because I always need, like, things like hand sanitizer. I like to carry a little perfume just to freshen up. I like to carry sunscreen. Depends on what time you're landing at your destination. I have makeup remover. And then a little thing of mouthwash because I am a, like, gentle hygiene, gentle, dental hygiene freak. Um, so I like to have that. I have a little um, MAC Tender Tone lip balm that's apparently f liquid. Just look on the label and if it says fluent ounce, just put it in this bag. Um, and then a little jar of lotion just to, you know, in case I get dry. Um, and then a toothbrush and a toothpaste. And if you guys are not familiar with the TSA rules, um, it's called the 311 rule. The gist of it is that you can have a bag about the size. So just use Ziploc sandwich bags and they're perfectly fine. You're actually allowed a little bit bigger than that size, but unless you really need it, a Ziploc bag works perfectly fine. Everything in here has to be under three fluent ounces. Um, and you can only have one bag per passenger. And then I always carry a handy dandy little notebook. This notebook is just so I random. Here you track around here. I like to write it down by I hand. I have some polyatomic ions um, from last year when I was memorizing them for AP Chemistry. Miss Baker, if you're watching this, you should be proud of you know, me. Just in case you need to jot some stuff down. Speaking of which, I also have a pen and a sticky note tab. Thing. I have my wallet, which is definitely important. You always want to keep some cash with you when you're traveling. So I have some cash. I have my cars. And I take out any excess junk that I don't need before I travel, such as like extra receipts or gift cards that I won't be able to use it there. So I take all those out. I have a Dr. Scholl's uh, rubber leaf stick. 
and this is for if your shoe is hurting you, giving you blisters, and make sure you wear comfortable shoes. Just wanted to have this just in case, you know, I don't want to be painful at all. Make sure you bring socks because I love taking my shoes off. I don't like to be barefoot on a plane. I think it's a little gross, so I like to wear socks. Um, anyway, I have some band-aids because you never know if you're going to get a cut and you really need them. Some gum to help me with landing and takeoff and also just... You know, if I'm bored, chew a piece of gum. And headphones for watching movies, listening to music. Um, and for my entertainment, I will have my electronics, my phone, my iPod in here, which are not in here right now because I'm currently using the last them. item I have is a tablet. Um, and this is just, you know, for my entertainment. This is the Sa Samsung Galaxy 7.0 tab. And if you don't have a tablet, you know bring some books i love reading magazines on the plane and it's all good so that is all that i'm carrying in my like carry with me carry on now i will kind of move on to let's do my makeup bag i think that's fun so um this is my carry on makeup bag so anything liquid is already in my liquids bag so this is a bag from victoria's secret i'm going to china for two months and this is all the makeup that I'm carrying, it's really not that much. I don't wear face makeup, like, rarely ever. Um, and I only typically wear eyeliner. Like, right now, I'm only wearing eyeliner. So, that's really all I need. I'm really trying to keep it minimal. Everyone has different, you know, makeup preferences. Just try not to pack so many. You don't need, like, ten shades of blush or anything like that. In terms of other entertainment, I have two issues of the Seventeen magazine. I typically, before I travel, I like to just save up my magazine so that I can have them for the I also plane. have an additional makeup palette. This is the Nuditude um, makeup palette, and this is my absolutely favorite palette. I've raved about it a whole Let lot. Let me show you guys what else I'm carrying in the suitcase. Something that I'm not going to be showing is important documents other than your, you know, passport um, that you might need. Keep. Obviously, common sense, don't keep important documents in your check-on luggage. Check, check luggage. Okay, so this is my carry-on luggage. Um, before you leave, make sure that you check your carrier's website to find the maxim maximum combined dimensions allowed for carry-on. it's good to get one that has an expander. Do not ever, if your suitcase does have an expander, do not ever use the expander on your way there. Because chances are you will be taking back more stuff than you brought there. And if you use the expander on the way there, you're not going to be able to fit it all back in. So just, just don't touch the expander until you're on your way back home. In your carry-on, if you were to carry a carry-on, I would recommend, you know, obviously carrying things that you need, clothes and stuff. Um, but keep anything too heavy in your chicken luggage and just take light I stuff. I have some purses here that don't weigh a whole lot, some shoes, all my shoes and bags because honestly I want to keep my suitcase nice and I think shoes are gross. About three pairs or four including the pair that I'm wearing which really isn't bad for two months. Stick with the basics when you're traveling. And then I have this little quilted purse. It also has a strap but that's inside. It's from Forever 21. And then in here, what do I have? I have some chargers, um, cord, and there's also um, a zipper, or well, several zippers under here, as you can see. So I have a little clutch um, that I got from Little Black. I have bag. another kind of clutch. I'm slowly becoming a small clutch kind of person. I have a pair of flip flops, just simple plastic ones for you know going to the pool or beach. Um, and then I have my camera. And then on this side. I have a book that I got from Target, um, and then this opens up, and in here I have clothes, and these are mostly dresses because, I don't know, um, these are not necessarily my most necessary clothes, but you know, just keep whatever kind of things you want up. in here. And if you have any sort of bags like this that are, you know, foldable, expandable, um, I think it's good to bring them to, you know, take additional things. Also, I really love this bag as a fashion item anyway. So, um, I have that down there. And that is about everything that is in my carry-on If you're not going to check your luggage, obviously, you know, pack everything you can here. And you can roll your clothes for to save space or plan out your outfits. But since I'm going to be in China for two months, there's really no need to plan it out. So, that's all that's in my travel carry-on suitcase. So here is what my uh, checked-in luggage looks so, like. You know, this whole thing is 
about this um this suitcase also has an expander but as you can see i have a whole bunch of room this has never happened to me each year that i go back to china i learn to pack a little less because i realize that you really don't need that much i'm taking an additional carry-on so all the shoes that would be taking up space here are in there and also you know this is a really good condition to leave your suitcase in because I typically buy a whole bunch of stuff when I'm in China, so this will definitely give me enough room to bring them all back. Clothes on the side, dresses, shirts, pants, you know, pack for whatever occasion you're going to, however long you're staying, that kind of is more like personal. I have a bathing suit. side pocket, I keep laundry back. I always take some shoe, um, kind of, uh, adhesive kind of things, and I have a pair of arch support by dr schultz the workout dvd and then in here i keep all my jewelry in this bag kind of in the middle to there a bracelet and then another one there so that's all i'm packing for jewelry for two months you can really cut down like guys you really don't need oh here's another one you really don't need that much stuff and then further back here i have some belts um fashion accessories and most suitcases, like big ones, have a built-in toiletry bag. Some of the bigger things I can't fit into my toiletry bag in here. Um, so, I have my sunscreen. This is my favorite kind, but I can't seem to find it at Target, which really, really annoys me. Um, I have some nail polish remover pads. I recommend these when you're traveling just because nail polish remover, liquid is a hassle. Um, I have some cotton pads. And then I have a little pouch here with nail polish. So I have um, a top coat, a base coat, and one color. Um, and when traveling, I recommend taking nail polish strips. That's all that I'm packing, and I will go ahead and show you guys my toiletries now. Um, but just a quick side note, in terms of clothes, you know, pack for the weather. Okay, so the last part of this video will be toiletries. I mean, this is by Shiseido, and it's one of those gift with purchase things. So let's just go ahead and get started. I don't have it here, our shower gel, shampoo, conditioner, anything like that, because I will be, you know, I have those in China, so I don't need to bring I also those. haven't put my deodorant in there, but just wanted to show you yeah. guys. I have um, my daytime and nighttime moisturizer. I also have my daytime and nighttime cleanser. And I'm taking, you know, these big bottles because I'll be in China for an extended period of time. But if you're going for a couple of days, feel free to transfer them into smaller bottles. And I also take an exfoliator. And then, of course, makeup remover. I have a tiny bottle of lotion. Just because in the summer, I don't tend to put on lotion very often. I'm only taking one body spray. This is the secret charm from Victoria's Secret. You have to make some sacrifices. I have so. Hollywood fashion tape, just in case. A nail file, that's really important. Um, a pencil sharpener. Shave cream, which this is a really tiny thing. And then I have a sample that I got in Birchbox. If you're subscribed to sample services, just, you know, use up all the samples. This is a kind of hair conditioner that I've been trying to use this up. This is the Clinique Sooty Block Sheer Oil-Free Daily Face Protector, SPF 25. This is actually kind of tinted. Which I didn't know at first, which is why I bought I'm it. I'm this because I'm trying to use it up and it has SPF. I have a, like, mask sample thing that I'm just taking. I have a set from Sally Hansen. This is what they look like. Um, and the, like, nail file and instructions that come with it, I and guess. cocoa nail polish one that I got in Birchbox. And it's a really pretty pattern. And then I have this NCLA one that's, like, a tribal zigzag print, which I think is awesome. When traveling, these nail strips are a lot easier and you could just dispose of them after you're done with them compared to nail polish. Also in here I have some hair tools. I have some bobby pins even though I rarely use them but I just like to have some um these like tiny little scrunchies for you know when I'm braiding. I have my tweezers. These are my travel ones from Tweezer Man and they're fading but yeah that is everything that's in my toiletry bag. I'm really not overdoing it or anything like that. So I hope that this video was helpful. That is it. I hope that I'm not leaving any part of traveling This video out. is going to be really long, which I'm sorry about. But hopefully this is, you know, this could be your only visit to get all your traveling kind of tips and checklists. Be sure to check down below for a, you know, typed checklist of everything so that you can print it out and check for yourself. I really, really hope that if you guys are traveling that this video helped. Give it a thumbs up if it did help and also let me know. I love getting comments from you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a great and safe trip. Or if you're not traveling, just have a great day. So I will see you guys later. Bye.